Hello everyone, welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. So today a very exciting video. Uh, we are gonna have another look at the bees. So spring has sprung. Uh, as they say, uh, there's lots of flowers around. The temperature is really going up. And so that's a very exciting time for bees is that's when they start really gathering all the pollen, start kind of making their hive bigger and so in this video uh we're going to show you um how our three hives are doing and what we've been doing with them in the last couple of weeks this year our goal is mostly to expand the amount of hives that we have uh, and we want to do that not by buying just more hives and more boxes uh, but we want to do that through splitting the hives that we already have so uh, what we're going to do and what you see in this video is that we have the boxes with the hives they were quite full and then the steps that we are taking so that we can split them into three so that we have we go from one to three and so from three to nine hives yeah it was that good okay i'm i'm not gonna overdo it just a little bit whatever we're doing is enough yeah i'm gonna already start with those guys as well we had to get some new hives because the ones that we had placed there before two of them died over winter we had a very harsh winter it was quite hard for them to get established so we got some new breeze they came from the Serra da Estrela which is a little bit more up north and it wasn't yet spring there so within a week of them being in our vineyard they were kind of starting to get big enough so that we had a risk of them swarming uh, which means that kind of half of the uh, colony just leaves makes a new queen and finds a new place to live bees are very fascinating that way she is huge and she is beautiful and yellow jackets yeah basically if they're around they will uh, wait for you to open the beehive and then they will just come and yeah, I'm gonna kill it, okay? Yeah, yeah. She's hungry, she's very uh, active. Um, Where can you move? Here. Okay. One, two, hey! So Martin and Pick have joined me for a very short intermezzo. Uh, the observant viewer might have noticed that there's something a little bit different in this picture. Uh, the hives are different. Um, there's a, a different person working with us and we want to shortly explain why that is. So as you would have seen in the video where we introduced our endeavor into beekeeping, uh, we were going to work together with a Dutch company and they were going to buy the honey from us. Um, but over the last few months we kind of realized that uh, we had <laughs> some different expectations from the agreement and um, our values were no longer being represented in that agreement. Um, for those of you who watched us for a while, I think you know that we value very small scale, uh, community minded uh, type business. There's no shame in making money. <laughs> she needs new boots every now and then. Um, but it was no longer possible for us to work with them. Um, and so we decided to, to endeavor into our own beekeeping journey uh, start for ourselves and so we bought some new boxes yeah yeah that, well that's <laughs> the, the the valuable lesson in in all this is that we can do this on our own the yeah we now work together with someone uh, called more bar he's new to this area he's fr originally from israel and uh, but he has some very good uh, experience with uh, commercial beekeeping in Israel, and uh, he wants to, he helps us out now with uh, yeah with all the uh, getting new hives, getting new hives and getting new bees and uh, making sure that we have the the, the tools in in uh, to get uh, started and and to uh, learn on our own. On our own tempo uh, beyond that 
and so it's it, it's been very nice to work with yeah. him. So if you're oh. thinking, who's that other dude? Yeah, that's him. Uh, that's more, yeah. and he's just coming every now and then to do a checkup together, kind of make us feel comfortable with the bees and working with them, and kind of uh, showing you what you should uh, look for. And he's very enthusiastic, so yeah. as are we. Um, mm. Hepic. <laughs> so that's <laughs> a short explanation of our new situation. And now back to the bees. So that, that, that's all good. Now it's uh, a matter of now we have to make sure that they don't swarm, so we have to put the supers on. Yeah. Uh, that that's. Uh, Two days later, Martin and I went to the hives to put supers on, which is basically another box without a bottom, so they can use that whole new box to fill up again and start uh, expanding their numbers without having to swarm. The frames in these supers had all fresh wax. You could do it without, but having the wax already there a little bit makes it easier for them to move in, so to say, and then they can start building right away instead of them having to build that whole structure as well. Exploded. Okay. Ja. Dan kunnen we drie van de zijkant pakken. Ja. Yeah. Dan kunnen we dan hier inzetten. When we were putting the supers on, we were checking for a queen to see if she was there, if she was active. Uh, laying eggs and trying to pick frames that weren't with a queen on them so we took frames that were a little bit more from the side that did have eggs and larvae and brood and all the different stages of 
bee infancy so to say and so we placed them in the middle of the super so that they would start building outwards again from there In this part three, we did a second check with more. As said earlier in the video, he's helping us get more comfortable with the bees, just kind of um, tagging along as we learn how to do beekeeping our way, because there are many different ways to do beekeeping. And we've been enjoying that experience very much so far. Okay, that's good. That's the first larvae I see. And now we go all the way to the goal for this second check with him was to see how the bees were doing in the new supers if they were building more if they were kind of confused as to what to do and to always check if the queen is still there and still active so far they are all three of them are doing very well it will take a couple weeks for them to fully build out the frames and then we can start splitting not like that. No. <laughs> they were lazy, they just yeah. attached it like as it is. Okay. This one looks great. Mm-hmm. Oh, they, they are also on the other side. Oh, ho, ho. do you see her? This queen bee. Here. Do you see her? She's amazing. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 That's also Very long. Yeah, the She's going your way. You cannot miss it, but it will take you here. Don't inspect each bee, just go briefly. She will pop. Like, I'm not gonna say it to you because this is something... Oh, she just switched to the other side? Yes. So now you see it when she's not there. Okay, yeah, she's like on the edge. Uh, here, yeah. there yeah, exactly. she is. There. Yeah. That's nice. She's here, she's laying eggs, she's like... happy from the work of the bees with building all this. Um, as far as I'm concerned, we can put it back and we're done with this yeah. one. Um, let's, let's so you don't want to, yeah, so we don't want to play with it too much. No, no. Because we saw everything we need. Yeah. We're up, she's up, building, happy. Exactly. Move on. Exactly, man. So that's what we've been doing with the bees so far over the, these last couple weeks. Um, we're excited to start this endeavor 
on our own terms, uh, on our own pace and kind of just see how it goes. Learn all the different things that you can do with bees. Uh, bees are very fascinating. Uh, Martin really loves it. I'm really enjoying it as far as I can join right now. Over the next couple of weeks, we will of course be filming a little bit, especially the splitting because that's very interesting, I think, um, to see how that goes and show you as well. It won't be coming out in real time uh, for a few weeks, as you <laughs> probably understand. But we do really want to share this exciting new part of our homesteading in Portugal journey. So there you are. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Just don't use it in the first minute. Right. We tried, but now you know what? It's gonna be. It's gonna be.